Hello, my lovely Leos. This is Debs and this is your reading for April 2023. Leo, in meditation, I actually saw an auditorium of people standing up and applauding. And there was one person standing on the stage on their own, feeling a little bit shy, a bit nervous. And there was a sense of recognition of their talent. Now, that's all I got, Leo. It could be that you realise you have a gift, you have an ability that you haven't really tapped into. It could be that if you've been really struggling over the past few months, maybe to build up a business, to get that pay rise, you're going to be recognised within this period of time. The clarity could come in the form of extra money coming in. It could be that somehow your name is going to be put up in lights symbolically. You're going to be better known. It could be that simply whether or not you're with a partner or a flatmate or a group of friends, a family member, parents, it's going to be making you feel very proud of yourself. You're going to get the proverbial pat on the back. OK, and there's also with that going to be a huge sense of relief Finally, I'm being recognised and appreciated for what I've been doing. So, Leo, whatever this is for you, let's jump into this reading and see what comes through. <laughs> Here we go, guys. If this does resonate with you, Leo, you can reach out to me for a private reading. My website is in the description box below. OK, and with that said, Leo, let's do this. Here we go. I'm hearing 0 to 60 in 4.2 seconds. I don't quite know what that means. Is somebody being able to afford a fast car? Are you just feeling that after months, maybe even years of things being really slow going uphill, an uphill battle, you're finally getting there. And when you do, it's going to be fast movement forward. You're going to excel very quickly. No more blocks. Okay. Archangel Michael, thank you for joining us. This is the reading for my Leos. This is April 2023. Thank you, Michael. I'm hearing someone say, how did they do that? I don't know. People may be mystified, Leo, as to what's made you a success in what they believe to be a relatively short period of time. Only you know, Leo, that you could have spent the last five years, 10 years, whatever this is for you, relatively six months, working your butt off in whatever this is. They have no idea the hard work you put in behind the scenes. It's going to be recognised. Yeah. But people are going to look at you. There could be some envious comments. There could be a little bit of jealousy going on. Yeah, look at that. All right. Thank you, Michael. We'll look at those cards in a minute. Very interesting. Let's cut the deck. Mm. Arnold's standing behind me. He's holding up what looks like a certificate. I'm hearing certificate of successful completion. Maybe for some of you, you're getting your PhD. Maybe for some of you, you've been working very hard on an exam. To be successful in an exam. I don't know. Let's have a look at these energies. So we start off with the five of cups. Leo, it's been a long, hard road. With the energy of the strength card, this is you needing to have the courage to push on. There may have been difficulty with various love situations that didn't pan out. You could have had issues with a fellow Leo, a Gemini or a Sagittarius. I think that various people that didn't treat you well, bad-mouthed you, gossiped behind your back, caused you problems, have all faced Judgment Day. And you are finally going to be reaping the rewards for your hard work. You're going to be sitting in the energy of the Queen of Coins. There's going to be fast movement forward. You could be recognised by your family. Okay, because you have moved into the energy of the magician and you are starting a brand new successful cycle. All right. So, Leo, that's your reading. Is that OK? <laughs> I'm messing with you guys. 
I'm messing with you, Leo. Would I leave you hanging? Would I? <laughs> All right, here we go, guys. So, Queen of Wands, straight out the deck. All right, could be connecting primarily with my feminine energies out there. You've taken charge, Leo. You're no longer, I'm hearing, playing the pussycat, right? You've had to get your claws out. You've had to, it's interesting, I'm seeing, I'm seeing a panther race across a plateau of land moving into a forest area and using its claws to climb up a tree. I don't think, Leo, you've had to claw your way to the top. I'm not getting a ruthless energy, but you are definitely sat in a very strong, powerful mindset of, I'm going to do this. I'm not going to listen to other people causing me problems. I'm not going to be swayed from my path. I'm just going to keep forging forward. And you've done it. Or you will be doing it. Yeah. Eight of coins. Yeah. Leo, for some of you, this is to do with your career, your business, whatever you're doing. You've worked long and hard, tirelessly, Leo, to be recognised. You've sacrificed a lot it could be if you're running a business, you've sacrificed a social life for the last few months, the last few years even. For others of you, you've sacrificed spending on luxuries you didn't need because you ploughed money into a project that was very important to you. In the past with the Tree of Life, you had to learn a series of very painful lessons that may have actually helped you aided you in the success that you're going to be receiving. With a King of Swords in the immediate past, you could have needed to have sought help from a lawyer. Could be anything. It could be a divorce. It could be to do with running a business. This is all to do with legalities, but also paperwork, administration, that sort of thing, copyright issues. Or you were dealing with somebody who didn't seem to show much emotion. And I think you just detached. Yeah, Four of Cups. Leo, you've been feeling as if your love life potentially hasn't actually been that successful. But because of that, it's actually given you the internal power to move forward. So this is you thinking, OK, well, if I'm not going to be the man or woman of my dreams, then I'm just going to plough everything into my work. And because of that, you have realised at this point of time, Leo, that you've reached a certain level of success, which is going to allow you to kind of take your foot off the gas a little bit. A little bit. I'm getting a very powerful energy of someone who is all about their career. I've got to say it. I've got to say it, Leo. I'm so sorry for those of you who wanted um, a love reading. Is my ex coming back? What happened to the guy that I dated who ghosted me? No, Leo, this is all about you. No one else. This is about you. And how hard you've worked and the obstacles that you have managed to move off your path and your sheer determination and drive to succeed. You may find yourself very emotional. Something may happen, Leo. It could be an email, a recognition. It could be you win a prize. It could be you're put on some kind of pedestal somehow, which is going to make you feel it was worth the effort. OK, yeah, yeah. OK, Seven of Cups. What you're thinking about now, Leo, is OK. I've reached some kind of plateau, which is enabling me to sit and think about what I'm going to do next. It's interesting. Michael's showing me a mountain climber. Yeah, somebody who spent hours getting to the top of a certain level of a mountainside. He's got himself onto like a ledge. And he's breathing out. And he's sitting there, looking at the view. 
He's glancing up. He's thinking, I want to reach the top. I need to get my energy back. I need to think about how I'm going to do this. But for now, I'm just going to take an hour or so and look at the view. So Leo, symbolically, this could be you taking a couple of days break. This could be you deciding to cancel work appointments for a few days. You're going to be taking a bit of a respite, not very long, Leo, because I don't know why. I'm connecting with somebody who, after they finished achieving a certain goal, they're very keen to get on to the next one. OK, I've done this. What's the next one? But Leo, there's going to be a feeling that you can allow yourself time to sit and just look at what you've achieved, be proud of yourself and maybe take a little bit of time just to rest. Okay. You may look at things that are going to make you happy. Okay, well, today I'm not going to work. I'm not going to work. I'm going to get out in the garden and enjoy the sunshine. For those of you living in a flat, you're thinking, I want to get out of this flat. I want to take a day trip. I'm going to go and sit by the sea or sit by a river. You're going to be taking some much needed time off. And I feel, Leo, when you do, it's almost as if you're going to use that time not only to rest and recoup, but as inspiration time. You're going to be really thinking about the next level. Where do I go from here? How do I get there? What do I need to do to progress further? You're going to put your thinking cap on, Leo. Yeah. All right. In your fears, the Empress. <laughs> For some of you, you're fearing that it literally is going to be all work, no play. The Empress is, well, I'm going to achieve all the abundance that I need, but I'm kind of going to be on my own. The Empress normally is wife, mother, that sort of thing. But I'm looking at this Empress and she's on her own. She's looking at this abundance She's holding very carefully this newborn baby. This could be a work project, something you've birthed, right, as such. You may be fearing you've got no inspiration left for some of you. I can hear a very strange echoey voice saying there's a lot more where that came from. It almost sounds like a telepathic message. There's a lot more where that came from. Leo, you've got a lot more to give, to find within yourself, to express. You just need to tap into it at a slightly deeper level. Maybe think outside the box. Mm. In the environment is somebody who wants to protect you. Somebody who may be helping you field off people that are jealous, people that want a piece of the pie, people that want to hang on to your coattails. You've got a supporter, Leo. On a much deeper level, this could even be someone that's passed who is helping you. For many of you, you are a light worker of some kind. This is someone who is on your side, fielding off unwanted attention, people sending you bad karma, that sort of thing, because they know how hard you've worked, Leo, to get to this point of time, to get to this level. Yeah. What you're hoping is to progress forward further, onwards and upwards onto a new cycle, but on a higher level. You may be hoping to reap the rewards financially for the work that you've done somehow. The final card, Leo, beautiful, nine of pentacles, yeah. So for many of you, you are single. You've decided that for now, you're going to stay single. I'm very much tapping into a feminine career woman. I've got to be honest. Yeah, Leo, it's taken a lot. You may have started from nothing. You may have had to clear a lot of debt. You may have gone through a lot of heartbreak and pain. This is your time now. This is your time now. It's coming up, okay? I feel as if the struggle is going to be worth it. Leo, you're going to realise that even by the end of April, 
something's going to happen which is going to make you feel it was all worth it. This is you with a very strong foundation to lean on. Whatever happens going forward, you're going to be achieving something which is going to be long lasting. It could be recognition for the work that you do. It could be having your name in lights. It could be you building a very strong financial foundation. Whatever this is, you're not going to be in danger of sliding back to where you came from, is what I'm hearing. Yeah. Your energy, ace of coins. Ace of swords. You may be being offered a project, Leo, to get your teeth into. You may be offered a large sum of money to do something. You're going to be in your head about this. Do I want to take this on board? I'm getting a really strong feeling that this type of reading might have come out for you before, Leo. I could be connecting with the same group of Leos or one particular person. There's going to be a sense of recognition, reward, achievement. Whoever is in your environment, yeah, four of wands, they are determined to help you remain at this point of stability. That is beautiful. Leo, for some of you, you might have been worried that you can't afford your rent, you can't pay your mortgage, things have been a bit dicey, things have been a bit tricky, having to juggle money around. I feel this is someone who is really wanting you to succeed and is protecting you. The Four of Wands is stability. This can actually be four walls, a home. Somebody is helping you remain in a place of stability. Because for many of you, Leo, you are on your own. You're on your own. Maybe your parents have passed. Maybe your parents live in another country. Maybe you're a single parent. Whatever this is, someone here is protecting you and your stability. To enable you to not worry about keeping a roof over your head. Yeah. Yeah. Scorpio energy. <sighs> okay, I'm beginning to feel very emotional. With a death card, this could be somebody who has passed. This could be an ancestor. Or this could be somebody behind the scenes who has seen you evolve, grow, deal with lots of challenges, and they are right behind you. They're right behind you. They're pushing away unwanted attention from other people to help you. This could even for some of you be a spirit guide. Underneath the deck. Yeah, it's been tough. Okay, five of coins, Leo. Five of coins. You started off very nervous that you couldn't survive on your own, that you couldn't do this. Is it worth the work and effort? Is it worth the battle? Yeah, I'm beginning to feel very emotional again. For some of you, you were left in a very difficult situation. For some of you, you went through simply trauma and it affected you emotionally and financially. For others of you, this is a series of heartbreaks that left you flattened and disconcerted and on your own, disillusioned. For others of you, you may have lost your job and wondered how on earth you were going to survive. At some point, Leo, you were incredibly poor. You were literally wondering how you were going to afford to support yourself. And then you got going, Leo. Five of Wands. This is you beating off the competition. This is you putting up strong boundaries and you shifted into the Queen of Swords. Because, Leo, I have to say that at some point you shifted into survival mode. You had to survive. For some of you, this is not necessarily just wanting recognition, just wanting your name in lights, just wanting money in the bank. This was the fact that you had to. You had to work. 
you had to work seven days a week, late into the night, all weekend, with no one helping you to get out of a difficult situation. So the Queen of Swords was you in survival mode. You're now sitting in the Queen of Wands. You're getting creative. You're no longer sitting in a place of stress, worry. Am I going to be able to afford my bills? Am I, I'm hearing, am I going to be turfed out of this house? You're okay. I don't think you've got thousands in the bank, Leo. All right. But you're okay. You've reached a point where you might have broken even and you might have a little bit of savings in the bank, but not a huge amount. You're okay. You're allowing yourself a breather. Yeah. Because Leo, <laughs> with a ten of wands, you're tired. You are tired. You're tired of having to, I'm hearing, explain yourself tired of endless days of work, nights of work. You've managed this all on your own, Leo. You're very proud of yourself, but you are quite tired. There may be some mornings that you wake up and you think, I just can't work today. I actually physically don't have the strength. For some of you, you may be trying to push yourself a little bit too hard sometimes and you lose concentration. You know that you got to a point where you need to take a little bit of a break. And I think the divine is saying, don't worry, it's not going to affect your stability if you do. Don't go crazy, right, Leo? You don't need to book a luxury holiday in the Maldives or anything like that. You're being savvy, you're holding on to what you've got, but you are going to take a couple of days break, even a day and a night away. You need it. You're going to be surprised at how much that's going to feed you. It's also going to boost you creatively. You're going to be inspired again, Leo, and you need it. All right, guys, this could be a very emotional reading for some of you, but let's delve in. Here we go, guys. Archangel Michael, what is the energy of the Queen of Wands crossed with the Eight of Coins? Yeah, Knight of Swords. Leo, you're taking no prisoners. At this point of time, if somebody tries to gossip about you, badmouth you, put blocks in the way, cause you problems, you are standing up for yourself and you're not apologising for doing that. These are people that simply want to get under your skin. People that want you to forgive them, people that want to move into your life now that you've reached a place of relative success. You could find a lot of people coming back and you are saying no to all of them, I think. Yeah, Knight of Coins. Leo, there may be a couple of people coming in. Could be an air sign, could be an earth sign. Rushing in. I don't think you're interested, Leo. Yeah, Ace of Wands. Ace of Wands. Because you know that whoever these two people are or person is, they're just attracted to you, Leo. But what you're realising is, yes, it would be fun. Yes, OK, it would just be a lighthearted fling. Leo, you're not wasting time with anyone who isn't actually going to be standing by your side, supporting you as you move forward. Anybody that gives you a hard time. Oh, Leo, you're always working. Oh, Leo, you never have time for me. Well, yes, but maybe they are sitting in that energy because they have plenty of time because they're not achieving at the level that you are. You're looking for a power player, Leo. And until you meet that particular individual, you are turning your back, left, right and centre. You're saying, no, I'm not interested in this Ace of Wands energy. I'm hearing go play with somebody else. Yeah, Leo. Yeah, Leo. I hear you. I feel you. Yeah, Leo, look at that. Three knights racing after you. Knight of Swords, Knight of Pentacles, Knight of Wands, and you're saying no thank you to all of them. Yeah, why, why, Michael, why? Because all of them hurt you. So it could be that you were betrayed by a Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn, an Aquarius, Libra, Gemini, an Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. Maybe you, over the past few years, have had run-ins with all nine of those signs. I don't know. 
but you're no longer going to be playing. I'm hearing pussycat again, Leo. No. No, 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 no. All right. What happened in the past with the tree of life? You got yourself into a complicated situation. You did. You learned a lot of lessons, but it wasn't easy. What happened in the past for Leo, please, Michael? Yeah. I'm almost seeing somebody in a studio flat, pull down bed, gazing out the window. When is my ship coming in? When am I going to get out of this awful place? When am I going to be able to just breathe and not panic? about paying my bills. Leo, at some point, you literally reached rock bottom. At some point, you reached rock bottom. You did, yeah. Six of Cups, maybe for some of you, Leo, you even had to go and stay with your parents. Maybe for some of you, you didn't know how you were gonna support your kids if you're a single mom. Yeah, you were looking very much at the past what you coped with. It was very difficult. Yeah. I think you may have been given a handout. Now, this could be anything, guys. It could be from the government. Maybe you had to go on the dole, right? You had to claim money from the government to pay your rent, to pay your bills because you didn't have a job. For others of you, this is you trying to get child support out of someone and that was difficult. For others of you, it could be that you asked your parents for a loan and you've managed to pay them back, but you always felt really bad that you had to do that, you know? For someone, that's the case. It wasn't a small amount of money that you received, only four pentacles, but it was enough for you to think, okay, well, that's going to cover the majority of my bills. I just need to really get working now. I need, I need to really put effort in. And you did. You did. What's the energy of the King of Swords? Okay. Leo, you have problems with someone. Someone that may have stolen from you somebody who may have broken your heart, somebody that wasn't to be relied upon, someone that tried to get away with something, someone very cold. And that was very difficult for you to accept that someone would treat you like that. It was difficult. It was difficult. Two of Pentacles. Okay, somebody could have got away with taking money from you. I mean, this is you with four pentacles. You might have ended up with two. That was really tough. Somebody may have run off for something and headed off to a different country, different area of the world. It could be, Leo, that with those four pentacles, you may even have decided to move, to relocate, to start a new life. You didn't want to stay where you were. Maybe you had too many bad memories, Leo. Maybe you just wanted a change, you know? You needed a fresh, clean slate. For some of you, it was a risk. You may not have had very much money, but you did a move. You didn't know if it was going to work out, but you worked tirelessly to keep yourself in that place. Yeah. What's the energy of the Four of Cups? What are you thinking about now, Leo? Yeah, you're hoping, Leo, you're hoping that there's going to be no looking back. This is you moving forward very slowly, taking a lot of lessons. You've changed, Leo. You're no longer so naive. You're no longer giving people the benefit of the doubt. I've got to be honest, Leo. Some people may see you sitting still in the Queen of Swords, but until you are approached by someone that you feel you can really trust. You're going to stay in that Queen of Swords energy, Leo, for your own peace of mind. So anyone coming back from the past, trying to apologise, now they see you doing quite well, or they see that you picked yourself up, you're back on your feet, you've dusted yourself off, 
they may want to come back in and sort of poke you. Hey, Leo, remember me. But what you're going to be thinking about is, yeah, but you pulled me into the Ten of Swords. I am not dealing with you again. You're moving forward. You're determined not to look back. Yeah. Yeah, you're determined. What's Leo thinking about? I have had so many tower moments. I've had so many tower moments. What else can go wrong? You almost feel, Leo, as if you've had your fair share of disasters. You've had your fair share of people breaking your heart, stealing from you, deceiving you, not telling you the truth, trying to shift back into your life. Not because they miss you and they want to be with you. It's because, Leo, they want something from you. Your time, your energy, your beautiful light, your aura, your finances. I mean, who, whoever is coming towards you, Leo, I've got to tell you now, they don't have the right intentions. The Knight of Swords is coming in almost angry. The Knight of Pentacles is so slow going, you may as well wait until you're an old woman before this person actually does anything about their feelings for you. The Knight of Wands is simply the Knight of Wands, right? They just want the Ace of Wands. So you're no longer looking at these people, Leo. You're moving forward. You've had your fair share of tower moments. You're sitting in the Ten of Wands. You're very tired. And you feel as if it's been an uphill battle. But I'm feeling as if there's respite coming. Because someone here, Leo, has your back. Somebody here has your back. You could be Leo at this point of time, seeing numerical synchronicities, duplicate numbers. If you do, look those numbers up as to what they mean, because I really feel that whoever is in your environment is not someone who is physically in your life. This is someone who is spiritually trying to protect you. OK, yeah. What is the energy of the Seven of Wands? Yeah, the sun. They're thinking about you, Leo, but I almost see the energy of the sun as... Sorry, guys, I'm actually hearing the son of God. Wow, the son of God. Wow. This is someone who is a powerful creator. This is somebody who is actually... Leo, if you can look at this card... This always reminds me of the creator. This is somebody creating planets. This is your north star, Leo. For some of you, you are guided by the divine, literally guided by the divine. The divine knows the secrets of your heart. The divine knows how hard you've been working. If you are a light worker, Leo, and I think I'm connecting with a group of Leos who are light workers, channeling direct from the divine, then this is somebody who is never going to let you sit in this lack mentality, this stressed energy anymore, because you've learned all your lessons, the world. This is somebody who's going to help you succeed. This is someone who wants to see you fly, Leo. This is your protector. And again, I'm feeling very emotional. For someone, this is going to be an emotional reading. The hangman. This is somebody who has seen how much you sacrifice, Leo. I'm hearing they've always been there, but you haven't realised that they have until now. Wow. This is somebody who has helped you regain your stability. Yeah. Leo, I'm sorry, I'm feeling very emotional again. The Emperor sometimes for me comes through as the Divine. This is the all-powerful. This is the all-powerful. Maker of heaven and earth, all that is seen and unseen. Yes, Leo. Yeah, isn't that interesting? Maker of heaven and earth, all that is seen and unseen, the world, that's the earth, the globe, the planet. 
This is somebody who's going to help you move onto a higher plane, Leo. You've mastered all the elements. You're about to be offered an opportunity which is, in your eyes, a little bit risky. But I think the divine is asking you to go for it. I'm hearing if you do this, push down the fear. We will catch you if you fall. Don't worry. They want you to take some kind of risk. Wow, Leo. Whew, what is this risk? What is this risk? Okay, Leo. Yeah, this is this is a big reading for someone. The High Priestess. Leo, for those of you who know that you have abilities, they want you to go deeper with that. They want you to progress forward. You may be going through a second ascension for those that this resonates with. You could be hearing messages from the divine. They want you to have the courage, Leo, to go deeper. Tap deeper into your abilities. Now, Leo, at this point, of course, this is you reaching that plateau thinking, I just need a break. During that time, could be just a couple of days break, you may be receiving very intense messages from the divine. You may only notice them because you've got time to actually notice what's going on around you. Maybe for some of you, you've just been heads down working. You're going to really take notice of the signs, the synchronicities that come through. In this period of time, when you have some time off, they're going to be guiding you towards the next phase for you. What you should be doing it could be creative ideas. So whilst you're sitting there thinking, what is going to make me happy today? I don't want to work. You may be getting very intense downloads, Leo. Embrace them. I know it sounds ridiculous, but if you do get these messages, and I've been through this, it's very intense, um, jot them down. Jot them down. You may even find yourself moving into automatic writing. And for those of you who don't know that know what that is, it's a medium ability um, and you can look that up. OK, automatic writing. You may be receiving information as to a project that's coming up or even about how you should proceed going forward. What the divine wants you to embrace. OK. What is the energy of the Seven of Cups? Yeah, justice. Leo, there could be a contract that's offered to you somehow. It could be you finally feel as if you've got justice for all the hard work that you put in. Okay. Struggling, trying to get yourself on terra firma. Three of Coins. The Divine may want you to work with other people, two or three people or a company. Yes, the angels are helping you, temperance. What they're saying is, don't stress about this, don't worry about this, we are helping you expand. We're helping you expand. Three of Swords, Leo. For some of you... You seem to be in a place where you do extremely well and then you sink back down emotionally. Yes, I'm doing well in my career, but oh my goodness, that person broke my heart. They want you to get out of this energy, Leo. You could be putting on a very brave face <laughs> to the outside world. But underneath, you know, when you're at home, when you're on your own, you may suddenly feel a wave of emotion relating to what you've been through. They don't want you to sit and dwell in that energy. They want you to simply get rid of it, okay? This could be lack of self-esteem, lack of self-confidence, despite the face that you put out to the world. They want you to forge forward, okay? Yeah, page of wands. There's going to be a lot of inspiring messages that come through at this time, Leo. Take note of whatever those are. The Hermit. You're wanting to 
sit in a place of solitude and just think about what's coming through, Leo. You want to think about what's coming through? What is on Leo's mind? The two of wands. You know you have choices in front of you. You've got one very specific choice, Leo, that could push you higher. Or you could go through the red door, <laughs> which I always see as the devil, temptation, and spend too much money, a bit overindulgent, and then worry. If you know that that's probably what you might do, just steer away from anything that could be tempting. Don't go retail shopping. Don't go anywhere where you're likely to spend money on frivolous things that you don't need. Take time out in nature. You need to do things that don't involve being overindulgent. But you will have a choice to make. What is the energy between these two people? Yeah, Michael's, Michael's saying no, Deborah, very loudly in my mind, because I said two people, right? This is the divine, Leo, not a person. And with the Eight of Wands, there's going to be a lot of messages coming through from the divine. What are they based around? Inspiration with the Wands energy, firing you up again, and a sense of peace. What the divine is saying is, Leo, don't worry, we've got your back. You're going to be receiving some very intense downloads. Don't panic. Don't worry. We want you to rest. But we want you to think about what we're telling you. We're going to be steering you in a certain direction. Don't push these messages away. Don't disregard what you are hearing. For some of you, Leo, this could be you actually starting a light worker business. All right. I could be connecting with somebody who literally has started a light worker business and is finding it a struggle. You're going to be ascending, Leo. For others of you, this is you having already ascended, already doing very well creatively, and this is you being moved to the next level. What is the energy of the nine of coins? Now, this is the outcome. Yeah, Leo. <laughs> I'm hearing... And you would have realised it was worth it. It was worth it, right? All of those failed relationships that wore you out, that drained you of your energy, that caused you so much upset, all of those days and nights and weekends of hard work. You're going to look back, Leo, and realise that somehow you will be sitting in the nine of coins, Yes, you're tired, ten of wands, but somehow you'll be finding yourself sitting in a very stable place. Yeah. Yeah. What is going to happen from here on? The page of coins. Leo, you could befriend someone. You could be receiving some kind of offer. It could be a contract. For others of you, you're going to feel comfortable that you can provide for your child if you're a single parent or your children. There's going to be a sense of relief. Yeah, Knight of Cups. Somebody's coming in to offer you a contract. Somebody who may also have love for you may suggest that you're friends. This could be somebody you pushed away before. They've accepted that you don't want a relationship, Leo, but they may simply want to be friends. You may say, OK, that's fine. It could be, this is you, Leo, sitting in a place of self-love, you know, because I'm getting someone here who has been depleted. And maybe you haven't really taken care of yourself, Leo, recently. You're going to be putting more into yourself, getting the sleep you need, eating well, making sure you're in a comfortable environment, even if it's a one bed flat, you're going to be cosseting yourself a little bit. Not overindulging, but just making sure that you're okay. Because I feel that with everything you've been through and with all the messages that you will be receiving from the divine, you're going to feel a little bit heavy. Just know that, but you are being supported You're being supported. Wow. Leo, there 
there could be an opportunity for you to go from the Nine of Pentacles as a single person to the Ten of Pentacles as a single person. This could be a contract. It's very interesting because the page is one pentacle. You're sitting in nine. And when the page comes in, which is one pentacle, which could be a contract, somebody who admires the work you do or somebody who sees that you have love for what you do, love for your community, maybe, it's going to shift you into the Ten of Coins. What is Leo thinking about at this point of time? I'm hearing, thanks be to God. <laughs> I'm sorry, Leo. Um, yes, you may literally thank God for the place that you're going to be sitting in. I'm hearing by the end of April. This is thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. This is you actually feeling closer to your spirit guides, closer to your ancestors, closer to the divine. Opening the door wider for more advice to filter through to help you carry on. You're not going to be pushing any messages away. No, I didn't really want to hear that. No, I'm pretty sure that's not what they mean. Yes, Leo, listen to everything coming through in April. It's going to be very, very important. This is you connecting with your community. This is also about religion and having faith that you are being supported by the divine. And for some group of Leos out there, or an individual Leo, this relates directly to your security. Downloading messages from the divine, which you are portraying somehow out there, which is going to help you stabilise your foundation. And maybe even for some of you, this could be extremely lucrative. This could be a gift which is going to help you financially, Leo. And I keep hearing again, you're not going to slide back down. You're just not. You're going to reach a level where you're going to be remaining if you keep listening to the divine. Don't veer off your path, Leo. And don't sit in any energy of overindulgence, OK? Keep humble. Keep yourself in a place of gratitude. Never take for granted what you have managed to achieve. Because yes, Leo, 50% was you, but I feel that 50% was you listening to the divine and following their guidance. So this is your creativity with messages from the divine, which has enabled you to create a foundation. And it's going to grow, Leo. It's going to expand. But you need to be prepared for this. Because it's going to shift you on to another level. You're going to be delving deeper into your abilities. But look at what you're going to be achieving. Your faith will get stronger, which is somehow linked to your financial foundation. The divine is not going to put you into a situation you were in before. But this could be a test, Leo. Because if you are sitting on a strong foundation, there will be temptation to spend the money. There will be a temptation to feel as if you have achieved. You've got to keep your ego in check. Remain humble. I keep hearing that. Remain humble. Give as much as you can to other people at this time. As you give, you will receive is what I'm hearing. I'm also hearing Deuteronomy. Six of Wands. There will be a sense that you have really achieved. Okay, my cut is, is, this is really emotional. He's talking to me about the parable of the fishermen in Jerusalem when somebody said, we've got only two loaves, two fishes, and there seemed to be enough for thousands, feeding the 5,000, right? There's something here about that, Leo. It's going to surprise you. You're going to have enough when you need it. Don't worry. Don't worry that you're going to have to be scraping the bottom of the barrel and panic about the future. You will be fine because you are supported by the divine. You are a light worker. 
There will be success. There will be success. But you will need to rest. You will need to rest. I'm also getting divine protection. It's almost at night. This is the divine wrapping you in a cocoon of light and sort of recharging you. You're being protected by the divine. What is Leo being protected from? What is Leo being protected from? Wow, this is intense. Oh, this is really intense. Okay, Leo, you're being protected from the energy of the devil. You're being protected from the devil. And you are being protected from the energy of overindulgence. You're being warned off overindulgence. Yeah, look at that. The devil and the nine of cups. So this is you keeping your ego in check, Leo. This is you not giving into temptation, not overspending. Okay. Remain humble, remain grateful, help others if you can. And this abundance will keep flowing. This is really powerful for you, Leo. Whew, under the deck, we've got the star. Look at that. Yeah, you are a guiding light to others. You may be becoming a star in your own right. Make sure you keep balanced. Mix the masculine and feminine within you. And you will be fine. You're on a path that's going to be very successful, Leo. You're okay. You're all right. You can breathe, right? Okay, guys, this has been a very emotional reading and I feel absolutely exhausted. It's taken quite a lot out of me, which is interesting. I think there's a lot of energy around this reading. Let's get some messages from the divine, okay? Here we go. The Archangel Michael cards. I was led to pick these up. What do we have, Archangel Michael, please, for my beautiful Leos at this present point of time this is april 2023 april 2023 okay okay what the divine is saying leo is spend more time outdoors connect with nature thank you for motivating me to spend more time outdoors and for helping me relax and enjoy connecting with nature beautiful Next message from Archangel Michael. Yes, guarded and protected. What did I tell you, Leo? The prayer reads, thank you for protecting my loved ones and me, ensuring that we're safe and that all of our needs are met. Michael wants me to say that again. Ensuring that we're safe and that all of our needs are met. I now accept your help gratefully and gracefully, knowing that it's right for me and all others to accept heavenly assistance. Leo. Wow. You're being assisted by the divine. They've seen your struggles, Leo. You're over the worst and they're shifting you forward. Again, this is protection. Shield yourself. Archangel Michael, I ask you to protect me, my loved ones, my vehicle and my home with your powerful shield. Surround us with your purple light, which allows any pure love to penetrate. Please stay with me day and night and keep my loved ones and me safe. I'm putting that over the devil card. We're hiding it. <laughs> so, Leo, my goodness. A powerful reading. I hope you've enjoyed it. I'm leaving it there. Take care of you. Sending love and light your way and many blessings. Bye, Leo.